Hello, it is Fishbowl Geek, and we are back with Persephone Hawk, and we are going to uh, make our way into Kirkwall. So, oh, do you? Do, uh, does anybody have anything to say? How will we find anyone in this place? Yeah, mother. We need to find your uncle. With any luck, he's received my letter. Wesley would have been horrified to see this. Yep, okay, you're all boring. Don't know, is there anything? I don't think there's anything out here. I think it's all inside. Get back to the crowd, you lot. Trying to bully your way through won't get you into Kirkwall any faster. But you do intend to let us in. <laughs> we have enough poor of our own in the free marches. We don't need you refugees piling up here like a midden's heap. Oh, well, isn't he, uh, charming? Why aren't we being allowed into the city? If it were up to me, I'd bar the gates and let you find somewhere else to beg. But it's not. Some of you lot might have legitimate business in the city. So Knight Commander Meredith wants us to sort you all out. Most of you are getting right back on your ships, though. That's a Templar title. Why would a city guardsman answer to the Templars? We don't answer to her, but she's the power in Kirkwall. Don't know what would happen if the Viscount went against something she wanted, but he's sure never taken that chance. <laughs> I heard someone call this fortress the Gallows. Is it a prison? Used to be, back in the Imperial days. They kept slaves here until the rebellion. Now the Templars run it. And use it to lock up their mages. Guess not much has changed. <laughs> Are mages imprisoned here? Well, no more than anywhere else. It's a circle of magi now. Magic is to serve man, not rule him. And mages are better locked up where they don't hurt anyone. Well, that's an attitude that's going to come back and bite everybody in the ass. There must be someone in charge I can speak with. Yes, yes, always the same story. You want in, talk to Captain Yule. I'm just here to keep you refuse from climbing the walls. I don't think we ever really get a chance to give uh, Guardsman Wright the uh, kick up the ass that he so thoroughly deserves, unfortunately. But, I mean, that's kind of the point of this uh, this whole area. I mean, that, that's the prevailing attitude, their arrogance. Remember ever seeing him there? He served elsewhere. Were you familiar with every single place? How else was I supposed to know when to run and hide? <laughs> it's very, very true. Very, very true. Right. It's a weird lighting effect going on around him, so uh, yeah, don't think we can do much until we get through this little area but let's just have a quick wee shifty round i'm sure there is oh, i'll have to come here later i could have sworn there was um a document that you can pick up that you find that you yeah or is it not in this section It's not. I could have sworn there was, though. That doesn't... Yeah, maybe. Must be later, then. Alright, Captain Ewald. Ewald. Let us through, you flaming blighter. We're not staying in this pit. Then get back on your ship and leave. Kirkwall has no more room for refugees. The ship's already gone. We've paid good coin to get here. You and half of Ferelden. There's nothing I can do. The city is full. One of the guards said you were letting in people who have business in the city. That's right. We've seen you let lots of people through. Citizens and merchants that make it worth our while. I'll assume that you don't have any more coin than these gentlemen. We've been letting you Ferelden's in for months. You're too late. 
There's no more room. But we have family here. Doesn't that mean anything? I've heard claims like that a thousand times already, trust me. We'll find some ships to take you all back to Ferelden eventually. Until then, you stay here. If you find our uncle, Gamlin Amel, you might just have a few less refugees bothering you. Gamlin? I know that name. He's a nobleman here in the city. Our family has an estate. A nobleman? The only Gamlin I know is a weasel who couldn't rub two coppers together. He comes back, I'll bring you to him. But I don't have time to... What? You're gonna let them through? I didn't say anything about... We've been here for four days. They just got here. That's it. We're carving our way out of here. Men! We're not having any ah! We can just corral. <laughs> yep. They're charming. Oh, deserters, apparently. Come on, attack some. Bloody hell. Right, you attack that person then. No, I'm not digging this, to be honest. I'll get used to this, but it's just not yet. people over there. She's not so afraid of Templars that she won't use um, magic in front of everybody. That's, that's quite funny. Captain, are you all right? I am. No thanks to you. Where is everyone? Go find them. I want this kept under control. You have my <laughs> thanks. Look, I can't get you into the city. It's not my decision. But I'll find your uncle and bring him here. Uh, I mean, that's entirely fair. It's been three days. This waiting has to end. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Gamlin must still be looking for us. And if he's not? Don't look now, but I think that's our man. Leandra! Damn, girl, the years haven't been kind to you. Gamlin! Let me say up front, I wasn't expecting this. The Blight, your husband... dead. I'd, uh, figured you'd pretty much be Ferelden for life. Oh, Gamlin. We came too late. My poor Carver didn't make it. I'm dressed in Gaiden. Oh, make her save me. Leandra, don't drop this on me here. I don't even know if I can help you get in. Would it help if I said you were my favorite uncle? <laughs> It'd make me feel better, but that's about it. I was hoping to grease some palms, but the Knight Commander's been cracking down. We're gonna need more grease. But what about the estate? Surely Father left something when he died? Right, uh, about the estate. It's, um, gone. To settle a debt. I've been meaning to write you. Then there's no hope. N not quite. I know some people who might help. If you're not too delicate about the company you keep. Mother said our family was wealthy. You really can't help us. I am blighted helping. I've got two offers of work from people who've got the coin to open those gates. I still can't believe you sold the estate. Gamlin, how could you? Well, I didn't expect your blasted family to show up on my doorstep. I've got a nice place in Lowtown. You'll see, it'll all work out. Yep. Do we need to stay in Kirkwall? And let's go to another city. This was my home. I can't believe they won't let me come back. 
Every city on the coast's been hip deep in Ferelden since the blight. You could try your luck further inland, I suppose, but it won't be easy. No, we're not putting Mother through that. We'll find a way. Yeah, all right. Let's hear it, Uncle. What do you have in mind? I talked to my contacts, and I found some people who might be willing to pay your way into the city. The catch is, you and your sister have to work off the debt. For a year. A year? It's the best I could do. Trust me when I say a bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. Can't believe he's willing to s sell us into slavery for a year. I'm sure we'll be free and clear before we know it. I managed to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Miran heads up the mercenary company, the Red Iron. They're looking for recruits. Uh, Fenril. I guess you might call her a smuggler. Either one of them can help you. All you need to do is find them in the courtyard and convince them you're worth the trouble. What do you think about this, Bethany? We've come this far. I don't care who we work for, as long as it means we don't have to go back. Let's find them and see what they have to say. Oh, Gamlin, I don't know about this. It's a lot of coin, Leandra. Don't go expecting our name to carry the kind of weight it used to. And what of me? I will not allow others to incur debts on my behalf. I <laughs> can't see that it makes a difference. You look like a lady who can pull her own weight. Then you'll come with us. I have no real option. Thank you. Okay, so, uh... Yeah. That's not going to work out fantastically well. Do you have anything so new? So that was your uncle, was it? Good. I thought he was another confidence man trying to sell promises. I don't suppose he has the coin you'll need to get in. He had some ideas. Hmm. They always do. If it were just up to me, I'd let you through. But there are a lot of eyes watching, a lot of palms that need greasing. My suggestion? Wait for a ship and hope the next city hasn't already closed their doors. Hmm. If only we had been that sensible. So, uh, I like both options, but I like a, I like a Fenril more. Either way, we're not just paying to get into the city, we're also paying off his debt, because he's a... He's a bit of a cad and a scoundrel and a really bad gambler. Are you a Fenril? He must be Gamlin's niece. Interesting. I don't know what he told you about us, but he certainly told us a great deal about you. He didn't say anything about me, did he? Enough to pique our interest, provided you can justify your uncle's confidence. How did you get to be one of my uncle's contacts? Is that what he calls me? He owes us after that last big idea. If you turn out, though, we'll consider things even. <laughs> I hear getting us into the city isn't cheap. If you're as good as your uncle claims, we're hoping you'll be worth it. After all, it's not every day we're offered an apostate services. It appears our uncle liked to talk. The Templars in Kirkwall like to think they have all mages properly leashed, but when has that ever been true? We can keep them from taking notice while you're with us. Wouldn't be the first time. Well, seems fair. I'd like to know more about what we'd be doing for you. I can be honest. We don't compete with the Thieves' Guild, but we keep our fingers in a lot of pots. That said, we're not killers or slavers. Anything short of that, however, is fair game. Do what you want. But this sounds fishy to me. We can't afford to be choosy. Uh, yeah, the other ones, you're working for a mercenary company, they're okay, but I kind of like the... You know, we're not afraid to get our hands dirty. Tell me what you need done. There's a merchant named Cavril, friend of the Templars, so they let him set up his little shop here in the gallows. We supplied him in return for a piece of the tape, but now he won't pay up. We can't go near him without him screaming for the guard, but you can. Get our money from him and you're in. Yep, 
We we can in fact oh, no, that's the wrong way. He's around this corner. Hey there! What are you doing with that? Back away from it, friend. Now. Wait. This is a Fenril's doing, isn't it? You can tell that bitch I'm going straight to the guard again. This has all just been a misunderstanding, hasn't it? You think so? I do. Don't you think business partners deserve a return on their investment? Enough, enough. I'm tired of fighting over this. Here, take the key for the chest. That should be enough to pay that witch. Now I'm getting out of here. Let those guards find someone else to buy Dogland junk. <laughs> oh, if only he... I mean, I can't believe he thought he'd actually get away with it, to be honest. Like, that's a, that's a poor choice. Remember, it's Niran or a Fenril you're looking for. Either of you can help you out. Uh, I wonder if I can still do Miran's job. I don't think I can, but let's just go back to a Fenril. I don't mind the smuggler job. You could have given us something more challenging. Will you look at that? Tell your uncle we'll make the arrangements. Welcome aboard. Yeah, I like the armor that you end up with it. It's quite cool. Uh, Alright, let's uh, have a quick look. I'm starting to need to start putting points in strength as well. That would be useful. Oh, I can't put anything else in here yet. Uh, what do I need? Level 9, level 7, level 7. Right, okay, fine. Um, possibly. That could be very useful. Hmm. Nope. Nope. Uh, no. Boring. Now this actually isn't that useful if I'm going for Archer. Nah, Hail of Arrows. That's quite good. Alright, we're going to put a point into this, and I think we'll start with Stealth. And Aveline, um, you probably need... If you're going to be a tank, let's give you some of that. Immune from planking is always useful. Okay. Let's go see Gamlin. Any luck? Was there ever any doubt? I'll speak to a Thenril and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. Then we made it. The voyage is over. No more running for our lives unless we really have to. If only Carver were here with us. And Wesley. Well, we're off to a fantastic start. Let's see what else this city has in store. Thus began the champion's first year in Kirkwall. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. 
But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. So she remained, paying off her debt. Made a name for herself in the underworld. It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kunari landed. A great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. But most importantly, that's when I first met the champion. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we're, um, smugglers, quite good at our job, working for Ephemeral. And now we're going to start getting into life in Kirkwall proper. Stays pitch, human. You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? But we heard you're going into the deep robes. Surely you'll need all the help you can. No! You're too late. Already done. This is a sort of venture that can make a man for life. I'm not about to take any chances hiring random humans. I'll buy you a drink before we head into the deep robes. Everyone wins. Get in line, human. Half of Kirkwall wants to be my best friend right now. You're looking for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. What are we supposed to do now? We've got nothing to stop the next person who tries to sell us out. This expedition was our last chance. <laughs> uh, yeah, just... Just chill. We've survived for a year already. I'm sure if we wanted to, we probably could sign up for a thing full time, so... Don't worry, Bethany. I won't let any big bad Templars come get you. It's not a joke. If the Templars find me, the best I can hope is to be locked away for the rest of my life. If they don't kill me outright. We need coin, status, something we can hide behind. As long as we're just refugees, we're no one. Maybe Gamlin knows someone who can talk to Bartram for us. Our uncle's not exactly the most reliable tool in the shed. He's all we've got. Make us save us. We might as well ask. Otherwise, I don't know what we'll do. I know a guy once who could take every coin out of your pockets just by smiling at you. But you, you don't have the style to work high down, let alone the Merchant's Guild. You might want to find yourself a new line of work. <sighs> Off you go. <gasps> How do you do? Merrick Tetris, at your service. I apologize for Bartrand. He wouldn't know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would. I would. What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. He would never admit it either. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. You're part of Bartrand's venture. That's right. The deep roads wouldn't normally be my thing, but I can't allow the head of our family to go down there alone. So as you might imagine, I have more than a passing interest in this expedition's success. What makes you so certain we can help? You know nothing about us. Oh, on the contrary. You've made quite the name for yourself over the last year. 
The Coterie has been squeezing smugglers out left and right, and the only group to survive owes it all to you two. The name Hawk is on many lips these days. Not bad for a Ferelden fresh off the boat. You must have heard of my sister as well, then. Only a little. She is certainly welcome to come, but I'll leave that up to you. Frankly, I'd rather you take the credit. Madam, your secrets are safe with me. Find out what he's offering. We need a way into this expedition. <laughs> You're going awfully far out of your way just to hire another guard. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. The truth is, Bartran's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. Why would you stick your neck out for a complete stranger? I'd rather take a chance on someone with your reputation than head into the deep roads unprepared. And besides, we'd be your partners. I'm willing to give a little trust if you are. Your brother doesn't seem like the sort who's willing to split profits. My brother is many things, but he is not stupid. Far better to share the profits than be trapped in a tide with a thousand dark spawn between you and the exit. Trust me, he'll come around. I hope there's more to this. Like how I'm supposed to get that much coin together. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the deep roads won't be crawling with darkspawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. It won't be easy, but it's a chance. I think we have to take it. Better to work our way into this expedition than sit around waiting to be thrown in the gallows. We work together, you and I. And before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? There might be nothing down there except darkspawn and rubble. How can you be sure we'll make a profit? Well, Bartrand isn't grasping its strings. He's operating on some good information. Some of the deep roads are so old, even the dwarves have forgotten them. We just need to get down there. Then Bartrand will lead the way. You and I will be there to handle problems. What makes you so certain you'll be useful to me? I know everyone in this city worth knowing. I can help you find the jobs you need, and if you don't need me for that, there's always Bianca. <laughs> we like Bianca. And why not? She's a beauty. Isn't that right, sweetheart? What's to stop you from taking my investment and running? You'll be traveling with the expedition, and I'll be at your side. If I cross you, you'll be the first one to know, and I'll be the last. Why not? It's not like I had anything better planned. Perfect. Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job, and you'll have the money in no time. Maybe Aveline can find us some work. She's got a position with the city guard now. We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the hanged man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble we can stir up. And there we go. We have Varric in our squad. So, uh, yeah, let's level everybody up. And, uh, yeah, that's right, is good. Now, I don't really need her to be a full-on healer. I think we'll stick with just that. But, ooh, yeah, crushing prison might not be a terrible thing to do. That's always very useful. Um, let's start with that. Anything that helps our team. And... Eh, let's give you more dexterity. Now, he is, of course, uh, a master at archery with Bianca. So we probably won't take him all that often in our squad because two archers can be a little bit much. But... 
you know, he's certainly fun to have around. You got anything in our inventory? Oh, at least I've got that. Uh, nope, I <laughs> imported circle staff. I like that. Yes, I like the smuggler stuff. It's quite nice looking. Except we don't have anything nice for uh, the rest of our armor. Box pinions, barracks, to yep. So you can upgrade them, but we'll have to wait a bit. Hopefully, I'll remember where everything is. And that looks like it. So, uh, let's let's start. You don't say. Ah, long time no see, my friend. Well, if it isn't worthy, the dwarf with the incredibly ironic name. <laughs> I only advertise the truth. You aren't still working for a Fenril, are you? Your year must be up by now. Still trying to ferret out everyone's business, I see. <laughs> of course. How else do you expect a dwarf to make a living? I'll tell you what. I still have my old contacts. You need some runecrafting done, I can arrange it for you. Take care, Hawk. Don't get dead. <laughs> right. Uh, all the rooms. So I'm pretty sure I haven't actually got anything. Yes, so these um, resource varieties discovered, um, you find them throughout the game. It's not just, uh, and once you once you pass them by, I think there's a way you can buy them if you've got one of the DLCs, but generally you only get one opportunity in each chapter. Um, and once you pass that chapter, you uh, you will have lost finding that particular resource. So, which, you know, it's an interesting way to do it. I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, obviously, given what they went to for um, Dragon Age 3 Inquisition, um, they changed their mind on how to do it, but it's not terrible, I guess. Uh, how they do it. But I imagine a lot of people just weren't fans. You are dead. is a bit of a shame and yeah, we can't afford oh, we could afford that but apparently it's just ah right so it's not for that class all right nothing interesting here um where do i want to start um right there was a quest i must make up that quest later i can see something on the map Got to try and remember where everything is. Oh, I think this is going to show me DLC. Yes, it is. I'm not convinced I like Sebastian as a character. Sebastian, stop this madness. The Chantry cannot condone revenge, Sebastian. It is my right, my duty. To show these assassins there is nowhere in the free marches to hide. This is murder. No. What happened to my family was murder. And there we go. Some easy work, chapter four. Hmm. Well, you know what? We're down for revenge. I like that. Especially the youngest babe in arms. It just makes me think some terrible, terrible things happened. Uh, do I want to go up here for now? The only place in Hightown where the Merchant's Guild won't come looking for me. <laughs> what do you have to worry about the Merchant's Guild, Varric? Oh, let's go and introduce ourselves to Bodan Sandal. Bodan Fedig, purveyor of goods both common and rare, at your service. And this is my son Sandal, who is as brilliant an enchanter as you'll ever find. Say hello to the nice human, Sandal. 
Hello. We shall be accompanying your expedition and providing the needed supplies. It's all quite exciting, isn't it? Technically, we're not part of the expedition yet, but a blessing. The thought of adventure does make me giddy. <laughs> a kindred soul, surely. <laughs> but I digress. Do you wish to peruse my wares, or perhaps make use of Sandal's unique talents? Enchantment? Just so. Yeah, and um, one thing I do not like about the graphics is sometimes the eyes look absolutely terrifying, and the faces do occasionally look a Let's bit weird. Not gonna lie. Feel free to peruse my wares when if his eyes weren't so weird, the, he would look fine, but Sandals is not a good uh, a good look. Oh, no, yeah, there we go. Ah, so at this point I can already uh, put a room in Bianca. And do you have anything good to sell? <sighs> Not so as you'd notice. I should have just done that, actually. Alright, let's uh, carry on looking for more missions. Okay, so we're going into the uh, Viscount's Keep to meet with uh, Abilene. So that'll be interesting. Uh, so the, yeah, this is the keep itself, and the guards are stationed over here. Get to you in a minute. Even shell games are changing. Oh. Banished coins. <laughs> kind of cool. I think I just got Bethany a new uh, star. We'll check that out in a minute. Let's talk to Abilene. She's got some work for us. In that grumpy Abilene way of hers. Abilene. Hello, Hawk. That's it. What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartram. He's a son of a bitch. You know I don't like it when you have people watch me. Saved me camping on your doorstep. After what we went through to get here, I... Let's just say I don't want to lose track of you. The places they have me patrolling, I've got time. Hmm, creepy. A person in your position. Seems like they might learn some profitable things. You know better than to ask that. One day you'll be frustrated enough to go for it. It's like I'm sitting on my hands. There are dangerous people in this city. In fact, I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing? My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush, probably for a caravan, although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter, though. I women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. All right, Aveline. I'll play guard for you. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough, but we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. You're <laughs> acting on behalf of the guard. 
In other words, you need to be part of my party. And you immediately Lady Elegant who's going to be our herbalist. My my. If it isn't Hawk. Still up to old tricks, Elegant. Lady Elegant, if you don't mind. I'm a married woman now. Last time we met, you were still in Ephemeral's employ. Things have been going well since then. Could be better. Could be worse. I often feel the same way. You may recall I sometimes provided potions for Ephemeral. I'd be willing to extend you the same courtesy if you like. All I ask is you inform me of any interesting reagents you find. In exchange, I'll approach my contacts on your behalf. And of course you'll need the appropriate recipes, such as this one. Free, for old time's sake. And this is how we get our potions. And again, we still don't have any money, or for that matter, <coughs> any ingredients. A pouch of Andraste's ashes, verified by the scholar Genitivi. These ashes cure any ailment and provide virility in more intimate matters. Do I have a volunteer? <coughs> I'll try. Just a small pinch, Sarah. There you go. <sighs> My. Wow, what a scam. Gone. Cured by the maker himself. That's enough. Clear out, you charlatans. Yeah, ooh. Every coin those swindlers nab goes straight to the carter's coffers. They must be stopped. Wow, I can certainly do that. Ah, yes, this is the um, first of the additions you can make to companion armour. Uh, I'm quite a way of getting this, um, but inscribed leather harness and also expansion to the backpack, very useful, I'll be getting that when I can afford it, is at the apparel shop, so entrance to Low Town, and it's right here on this side, so that is uh, how to get your first expansion, that's how they handle Improving your companion's armor. Uh, we'll go in there later. I'm not too fast for now. Let's carry on going around the area. I think I saw Gamlin come up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Uh, not a step closer. Yeah. No refunds on the ashes, friend. If the maker doesn't favor you. That's between you and him, isn't it? Oh, we're going to enjoy getting rid of you. Can we talk about this? Nope. Uh, let's try and get all the rules. And then back off. I should get an automatic critical hit. Come on, come on, actually fight somebody. This would be good. Why is good? Burst arrow potentially. Eh, who's got the most health? Let's try this. Alright. Yeah, I think that's because obviously we didn't kill Jenna TV. Um, to protect the secret of the ashes, so yeah, now it's being super exploited, which I guess you could, you could have easily anticipated that was going to happen. The nature of, uh, it's human nature really, isn't it? Or I suppose the warmer nature in this case. You could do worse, Hawk. Take the risk. Well, you're not wrong, but let's go and see what Gamlin's little hovel is. Oh, I forgot I could have the dog with me. The sustained talent. Hard 
to believe they left me nothing. Well, Mother was pretty steamed when you ran off with your Ferelden apostate. I'm still their daughter, their eldest. My children have been in servitude, servitude for a year. They should be nobility. If wishes were poppy, we'd all be dreaming. You mean this is real? No wonder I can't wake up. And here I thought that Ferelden you ran off with was a <laughs> mage, not a jester. Your mother was supposed to marry the Comte de Lance, and instead she ran off with some Ferelden apostate. You don't get to stay the favorite when you do that. Where is father's will? If I could just see for myself. It's not here, all right? It was read. It went in the vault. No one needed to look at it again. Did grandfather mention mother in his will at all? Our father died when you were still in pinafores, girl. You can hardly expect me to remember. Sounds like a yes to me. <laughs> I, I like ben Bethany in this instance. But not much else. Why don't you ever talk about them? The Amels have been a noble family in Kirkwall since Garahel drove out the fourth flight. But we've always carried magic in our blood. It's been a stain on our lineage. No family of good standing would ever marry into a line with magic. When I chose your father, I was bringing more magic into our line, not less. I think that's what hurt my parents the most. That touched a nerve. What's in there that you don't want us to see? Nothing. But you won't be seeing the bloody thing. It's still locked up on the estate, and that's long out of my hands. You didn't take your parents' will. It was old news. You think I've been sitting here for 25 years waiting for Leandra to slink back? Who bought the estate, Gamron? Perhaps I could speak to them. Was it the Reinhardts? No one you know. Get used to Lowtown, sister. That's where we're going to stay. <laughs> She's bloody high-handed and an ungrateful little sot when you think about it. It's just like, yeah, you did leave and start a new life. He's not the nicest of guys, I will grant you, but still. Looks like the dog's trying to tunnel his way out of this hovel. Can't blame him. <laughs> what is that stain? I think this is the same cheese that was here a year ago. It kind of makes all of you animals then, doesn't it? Oh, yep, yeah, this is uh, special deliveries. What's in that? Oh, it's the blood dragon stuff. Um, do I want to take all? Why not? So, Memento of Legacy, Memento of the Mark of the Assassin, and the Cardinal Rules of Magic. Oh, that, yeah, I think that's there anyway, but um, this is how you access the DLC. So, this is going to be nice and interesting. Uh, but we're not going to do it this early in the game, that's for darn sure. We've got, yep. I will take your job. That's just the black, black Emporium. And that's... Really? I already found that. I guess in case you haven't found it, just to make sure you don't miss it. So, I hate thinking badly of family. But did Uncle Gamlin seem a little slippery when he talked about Grandfather's will? If he, say, invested money that was meant to be Mother's... Do you think he would tell us? <laughs> no. Gamlin can't say good morning without lying twice. Mother's been in such a fit of melancholy since Gamlin told her how angry her parents were about father. She told me she wishes she'd died with Carver. It's like coming here ruined every good memory of her childhood. I wish we could get some of it back. Unless we somehow turn Gamlin into an upstanding citizen, what's done is done. Gamlin told me he gave the estate as payment to some slaver who beat him at dice. Apparently, 
Our ancestral home is now a base for slavers from all over Thedas. Gamlin couldn't have just sold himself and saved us all the trouble. <laughs> Can you just imagine him sweeping and scrubbing for some Tevinter matriarch? Seriously, though, those scum have no right to our family's things. We should break in there, get the will for Mother. I already talked to both of them about this. Gamlin said they guard the front entrance well. But Mother gave me her old key. She said it should unlock the cellar. Apparently, the sewers run right beneath the house. Okay, so that's another fun little mission. Uh, so... Uh, oh, hello, dog. Oh yeah, we can obviously order potions and runes from our house as well. He wasn't like this in Lothering. I think he misses the open fields. Come on. Let's play Fetch the Invisible Boar. Poor thing. Maybe he'd be happier if we brought him with us more often. But if he's with us, who'd keep Gamlin's debt collectors away? Take it. I'm sick of what's his name staring and panting. Gamlin, honestly. A Mabari understands what you say. Try using his name. What's wrong with Doc? Real easy to remember. Oh, I never named him before. Um, I kind of like Dog. <laughs> cool. So, uh, yeah, we've uh, visited the home, picked up a few more bits and pieces. And, uh, yes, we can actually have everybody in our party. Uh, and we want to go to... I do want to go to the, the hanged man, actually, now, so... Spin the weed. First uh, crafting resource that I found. Hangman is around here somewhere. I know it's been a while, but still. That must be a trader to talk to. Uh, have I looked at this one yet? Let's have a quick shifty. I think I have. Ah, no, I haven't. So, um, oh, yes. Did I get five gold? What did I do to get five gold? All right, uh, in that case... Oh, I suppose I might have got it um, fighting the uh, swindlers, actually. No, ah, there's the hanged man. Right, so we're going in there in a minute. But what I want to do is buy Varric's upgrade as well. Before I forget. And you know what, maybe the backpack, why not? The sooner you get everybody upgraded, the better it is. Oh, hang on. Oh right, yes, return to the sergeant. The thieves are gone, guardsman. Did you say something? I didn't hear you. And clumsy me. I seem to have dropped a coin purse in your hand. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the best bar. Don't tell me the game. Oh no, I thought for a second the game had just frozen, but I guess not.
Right, that actually strikes me as a good place to end it because I'm pretty sure there's more, lots more conversation to go. Um, so we might as well save it for the next episode. So thank you for joining me. I do hope you've enjoyed watching. I have enjoyed uh, getting back into this game. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. It will take a while before I fully get back into the swing of things. Plus, it is a bit of a slow starter. So you do have to slog through some of the early stuff before you start getting into actually doing anything interesting. But uh, yeah, we're almost we're almost at the really interesting stuff, which is building up background and story and such at the moment. So yeah, next time we'll start getting more into the actual action. So uh, thank you for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed uh, the episode. Uh, if you have, please leave a like. Every little bit helps the channel. All that jazz. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now. What? You think I'm made of?